hi students welcome back to my channel in this video we will discuss about some more previous year mcqs in unit 2 the velocity of a particle at a time t is given by v is equal to a t plus b by t plus c where a b c are constants the dimensions of A, B, C are respectively. We know that from the principle of homogeneity, we can add or subtract any physical quantity which have same units. So, we must have the same units of A into T. So, the unit of A is equal to V by T. We know that velocity has the dimensional formula of L power 1, T power minus 1. Here T is time, T power 1. So we get L power 1, T power minus 2, the dimensional formula for A. Next, for the second term, we apply the principle of homogeneity, then we get V is equal to B by T plus C. Here again in the denominator we have T plus C from the principle of homogeneity we can add or subtract the physical quantities having same dimensions. So C must be equal to the dimensions of time. So, we have the dimensions of C as time. Next, V dimensional formula is L by T. So, the dimensional formula for B is L. By comparing B by T plus C, with L by T, we get B is equal to L. So, A is equal to L power 1, T power minus 2. Next, B is equal to L and C is equal to T. Option A is the correct answer. Dimensions of resistance in an electrical circuit in terms of dimensions of mass and dimensions of length and dimensions of T and finally in the dimensions of current I would be. We know that resistance R is equal to V by I from Ohm's law V is equal to I R separating R, we get R is equal to V by I. We know that V is equal to W by Q. So, we can write W by Q into I, which is equal to W by Q into I. Again, we can write Q as I into T into I. Now, we can easily write the dimensional formula for work as m power 1, l power 2, t power minus 2 and the dimensional formula for current is current i, i square and the dimensional formula for time is t power 1. So, we get m power 1, l power 2, t power minus 3, i power minus 2 option. A is the correct one. Which of the following five physical parameters have the same dimensions? First one, energy density. Energy density is equal to energy per volume, which is equal to m power 1, l power 2, t power minus 2, divided by L cube. 
then by simplifying we get m power 1 l power minus 1 t power minus 2 the dimensional formula for energy density next refractive index refractive index which is equal to velocity of light in medium to the velocity of light in vacuum it is the ratio of velocity of light in medium divided by velocity of light in vacuum here the ratio is similar l power 1 t power minus 1 and l power 1 t power minus 1 so it is a constant one so it has no dimensional formula next dielectric constant dielectric constant dielectric constant k is equal to permittivity of medium and permittivity of free space it is the ratio of permittivity of medium to permittivity of free space so here we get the same dimensions in the numerator and the denominator so it is a constant one so it has no dimensional formula next one young's modulus young's modulus can be written as y is equal to stress longitudinal stress divided by longitudinal strain we know that stress is equal to f by a and strain is equal to delta l by l here the ratio is having same physical quantities so it has no unit that is strain has no unit so the unit of Young's modulus is similar to f by a that is pressure which is equal to m power 1 l power minus 1 t power minus 2 is the dimensional formula for Young's modulus next magnetic field magnetic field b is equal to f by m here f is the force and m is the pole strength the unit is for force is m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 2 divided by the unit for pole strength is ampere meter so ampere into l by cancelling we get m power 1 l power 0 and a power minus 1 t power minus 2 so dense uh, energy density having the dimensions m power 1 l power minus 1 t power minus 2 refractive index it has no unit it is a constant dielectric constant is also dimensionless quantity Young's modulus is having the dimensions similar to pressure m power 1 l power minus 1 t power minus 2 and magnetic field is having the units m power 1 l power 0 a power minus 1 t power minus 2 so the refractive index and dielectric constants are two constant physical quantities which has no dimensions so b and c are having same dimensional formula so energy density and Young's modulus are having same dimensional formula m power 1 l power minus 1 and t power minus 2 so energy density a and Young's modulus d are having same dimensional formula so option a is the correct one if the dimensions of a physical quantity are given by m power a l power b t power c then the physical quantity will be first option force we know that force is equal to m a is having the dimensional formula m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 2 in the dimensional formula for force we does not come across m power 0 
so option a is the wrong one next one pressure pressure is equal to f by a whose dimensional formula is m power 1 l power minus 1 t power minus 2 here a is 1 and b is minus 1 and c is minus 2 this option is correct next velocity velocity v is equal to s by t so the dimensional formula for s is l and dimensional formula for time is t so we get m power 0 l power 1 t power minus 1 here a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 t is equal to c is equal to minus 1 for velocity we does not observe the dimensions of mass as 1 so a is equal to 1 for velocity is wrong for acceleration a is equal to v by t which is equal to l power 1 t power minus 1 by t which is equal to l power 1 t power minus 2 here m is equal to 0 that is a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 c is equal to minus 2 here in the option it is given that a is equal to 1 the dimensional formula should be a is equal to m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 2 which is the wrong one here we get the dimensional formula for acceleration m power 0 l power 1 t power minus 2 so option b is the correct one the dimensions of 1 by 2 into epsilon naught e square where epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space and e is the electric field e is we know that half epsilon naught e square is the formula for energy density that is e divided by v so for energy the dimensional formula is m power 1 l power 2 t power minus 2 and for volume we get the dimensional formula l cube by cancelling we get the dimensional formula m power 1 l power minus 1 t power minus 2 so option c is the correct one